everybody, welcome to episode number 185 of It'll Be Fine. I'm your friend and your pal, Kelly Zemnickus. I'm, I'm needing to hit the gym uh, for today's episode because I gotta just try to stretch to make myself just a little bit taller, you know, try to hit like 5'5 five five, uh, for this one. My guest today is just, you know, a hair taller than I am. Ross Hammond is on the show today. Ross is a fabulous comic producer. He's a he's a theater tech guy, so he's behind the scenes. Uh, he's a really cool dude. I'm so glad he's coming by today to make some mocha sandwich cookies, which is another reason why I need to go do some crunches. Stretches and crunches. I can hit 5-5 five five for this one today, can't I? Sure. It's going to be fine. I can, I can totally do this. I can totally do this. It'll be fine. Okay, this got to be a near and far episode. Uh -oh. Near and far. Dolly! Dolly! Yeah, this works. Yeah. Okay. Nothing like a relaxing baking show. This is going to be great. <laughs> for the number of Zoom shows I've done with you, I don't actually know what you do for a living, Ross Hammond. What do you, what oh. does Ross Hammond do for a living? Well, Hammond do for a living. Yeah. Um, he puts his theater degree to use is what he does. Nice. Um, I have a degree in theater studies and I work as a theater technician. Cool. Yeah. So nice. I do like nice. lights and sound and stage carpentry and uh, all that kind of thing. I have a full time job doing that. Uh, and nice. then I can also freelance on the side. All right, so I have a, a decision for you to make. Oh no. Yeah, it's a big question. So in the in the recipe, they suggest going with vanilla extract. Mm -hmm. It is the holidays. Do we want to go peppermint, vanilla, or both? I'll leave you to decide. I say both, because I, I like where your head's at with the yeah. adding peppermint for the benefit of the holidays. Exactly. Uh, but I would, I'd miss the vanilla if it weren't there. Yes. All right. So that's what we're doing. Uh, feel free to go with with that or not. It's your thing. Um, the recipe, by the way. Use almond. Go nuts. Almond extract in these. That might be great. Yeah. Oh, that could work too. Yeah, like a marzipan kind of vibe. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Are, are like you surprised that I know what almond extract is? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> you seem suspicious. I'm not. No. You know your stuff. He has to be on the show. All right, um, we're going with the William Sonoma Weeknight Cook Cookbook. I have no idea if this is still in print, um, but I'll it find the link. Sonoma. They must yeah. be doing some version of it. It might be. This was like one of the first books my mom bought me when I moved out on my own, and it's great. It's a great book. Well, that shows real concern for your well-being. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's got to eat. <laughs> Did I microwave most things when I moved out the first time? Yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start. We're also, oh, there you are, up there. Right. Uh. Yeah, uh, I'm sure nobody makes hype jokes. No one. I'm the first. All right, uh, butter is going in and our sugar. And we're going to cream this together. This is step one. All at once or yeah. are we doing it in parts? Do it all. Give her. So we're creaming it up. Looking good. And then up next are these guys. Yay. This bowl. Oh. oh, doesn't that look delish? I have to say, friends, it smells so good. It smells minty. Pepperminty, you might even say. Pepperminty, exactly. So you were just mentioning uh, this is your first holiday bake of the season. Yeah. Uh, what is a what is a typical Ross Hammond holiday bake uh, uh, consist of? I like to do kind of the staples for uh, the festive season, like uh, sugar cookies and whatnot. Ooh, nice. Um, Gingerbread, if there's time and enthusiasm from my family. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, the holidays are Who stressful. doesn't get enthusiastic over gingerbread? Uh, as soon as people find out how much uh, time it would take, uh, meaning any in some cases with my family. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. That's going to be good. All right, we're getting there. 
Alrighty, so we are all good to go there. We're gonna add the egg. Once again, we're just uh, adding one egg to this. All yep. Right. All right. Oh God, I've got to crack an egg. No. Yeah, on camera. You can <laughs> oh, do this, God. Russ. You can do it. I have faith. Look, so well done. All right, it's time for this guy. So again, if you do not have cream of tartar, you can use vinegar if you wish. And we're gonna add in half a teaspoon just because we're doing uh, a batch down of this bake. And then we're going to go to the dry ingredients. These guys, we're going to do dry ingredients to make the dough happen. Yay. All right, so uh, for this, we've got our flour going in there. And this would be the time where you would add the cream of tartar, but because we used the vinegar, we added that to the liquid, so I'm not gonna need it there. We've got our cocoa powder, good healthy portion of that. And then uh, we also need baking soda. We're gonna do about half a teaspoon. Um, that teaspoon's gonna be damp. Oh it's got gosh. vinegar in it. All right. And well, that would react very poorly with the baking really soda. <laughs> We're gonna that would have been so there. exciting. Oh, I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Uh, when you're adding your your dry to your wet, uh, do it in batches. Don't do it all at once, unless you feel like wearing your recipe. Which I mean, some people, it's festive. I guess. I don't know. Oh, wearing. I thought you meant wearing as in like exhausting your recipe. I was just like, oh, that's an interesting way of phrasing that. <laughs> Yeah, Ross and I can come over to your house. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you don't understand how good this is going to smell. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> how did you get in my home? Um, we have ways. <laughs> Just shut up. We're going to make some cookies now. <laughs> that would be the craziest break-in. <laughs> Baker break-in? Oh my gosh, we should pitch that to Food Network. <laughs> Baker break-in. Cancelled after no episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do two discs. Gotcha. Alright. There we go. Nowhere near as impressive as I wanted it to be. It, I will fix it in post. <laughs> it kind of looks like a turkey. I'm fine. I'm very sober. <laughs> Just no drinking has happened. Alright, this is good. You know, this is better than the Star Wars Holiday Special. It's way better. I promise. I know. Alrighty, sir. So we are going to take those two discs. We're going to put them in the fridge. It's on the right side. Yay! Just stick them in there. Uh, and uh, we'll half see those hour. in half an hour. Get to yeah. know each other. Exactly. Do that to your fridge every time, friends. <laughs> every time. Sure when my mom was cleaning up the house. Okay. Away with the Christmas tape. <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> and my mom has since been like, well, I mean, you can easily see everything that the. Like, I've since found that particular yeah. uh, Christmas special that I can't remember the title of. Um, so you can easily find these things, but there's so much nostalgia in all of the commercials that were yes. played in between us. Well, that's the thing from. Have you ever uh, had the unfortunate mishap of watching the Star Wars holiday special? No, I really want to and get drunk oh my with God. my friends doing it. <laughs> oh, that might help. My friend Bryce. <laughs> my friend Bryce has it on VHS with the commercials. And that was like hands down awesome. the fucking best part of it. Because you spend the majority of your time going, why did they make this? B. Arthur's in it. What would be Arthur? That? As what? I don't As remember. Herself? No, I can't remember, but they don't speak English in it. They sold this to Network TV. What do they speak? Uh, I almost said Klingon, but that's not right. <laughs> that would be incredible. <laughs> you know what? Uh, it's time now to play Make Something Out of This. Oh. I'm not actually this lazy. I just have to lean to be in the frame. <laughs> I thought my headband would make me taller. I mean, by a couple millimeters. <laughs> You're also, I'm in flats, he's got a boot heel. I'm, I'm so slouched. I really thought I was going to have to stand on a stool today. And <laughs> Wait, that was an option? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm going right. to give myself bad posture. 
every guest on this show go home with a bad back. Yay! <laughs> All right. Um, I was going to make a Tilden rent-a-car joke, but I think you wouldn't get that. I was born in 1991. <laughs> so was I. <laughs> I'm forgetting that. Look, it looks like a face. Why do I see faces in everything? I... That's a very human reaction. Psychologically, we're programmed to find faces. Oh, really? Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna redo this. Uh, okay, put it in a log shape, then cut. Oh. I told you, Ross. There are people who are smarter than we are. Yes. Ross is is the look up. There we go. <laughs> Do that one! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right, friends. So we've taken that log and we've cut it up. Ta-da! We're doing this. I'm like vaguely rounding mine. I don't know if that's uh, going to be helpful. This one's Ross's. We're going to judge after. <laughs> judge for better. shape, flavor. Yes. Overall panache. Panache doesn't get used enough. All right. These are going to go into the oven at uh, 350 for eight to 10 minutes, but every oven's different, so use that as a guideline. Okay, all right, here we go. Is this what life is like down here? Yes, isn't oh. it nice? No. <laughs> okay, so, we're recording? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> it's happened. It has definitely happened. Reese Turner, uh, we did the taste <laughs> test at the end of the show. I was not recording, um. so we had to like, it sounded like you were about to blame Reese for something, and no, I'm like, well, this definitely can't go in the edit. Totally, edits. totally my, totally my fault. All right, so what we're going to do now, friends, is make the filling for this. Um, so we've got our salted butter, so it doesn't include salt in the filling itself, but we're, it's going to be all right. We're going to make it work, and what we need for this is this guy. Let's just dry this off here. So we're going to fluff the butter. I'm the butter fluffer. That's merch right there. That's a, <laughs> Make that t-shirt. <laughs> that's a great name. The Butter Fluffer. We, <laughs> <laughs> sold right next to our breaking and baking t-shirts. So we are fluffing our butter. There we go. That is happening. And for the sugar, uh, for this part, you're going to need icing sugar. But you may know icing sugar as another name. Uh, confectioner sugar. Caster sugar or powdered sugar. It's the same thing. They just have a lot of names. I don't know why. Uh, but there you go. And I mentioned that because I had a guest on the show once who called me from the grocery store saying, I can't find powdered sugar. Icing sugar is right in front of me. I was like, it's, it's the same thing. Um, I won't say who that guest is, but it happened. All right. We're well, perfectly fine with throwing Reese under the bus. <laughs> Also, I don't remember who did that. Okay. And they shall remain nameless. They shall for... remain nameless. So we have our Puff Daddy of Sugars going in next. Yeah. He's going by Love now. Fun fact. Puff Love? No, Love. Oh. I read an article. He's now going by Love. I think Puff Love is better. I like Puff Love. Love Puff. That's cute. Um, yeah. These are all names that you can use for your rap career. <laughs> you don't want to be <laughs> rapping. Uh, as much as I like Trap Call Quest, I will never be doing, uh, never be doing that. All right. So we've added in the sugar. We're going to add in a bit of cocoa. It's going to go in here. And... We also have ourselves uh, two tablespoons of coffee. Gosh. You can... One is it smells best. so good. Oh dear. All right, there we go. Ooh. So we bake these for about, about 10 minutes yeah. and uh, we're gonna let them cool and then we're gonna fill it up with this filling and then we're gonna eat. It's gonna be a good lunch. Yeah. These friends, look at these, so good. So what we're gonna do now is fill them and then fill our face. Yeah. Yay! All right, we can we can do this. Okay, that's up, Kelly. <laughs> Again, I'm sober. All right. Um, okay, so we've got these here. We've got this here. Uh, all right. 
so what we're going to do uh, is we're going to just do a little example. So you're going to take this filling. Here we go. And I will say, I was just saying to Ross, uh, when I do this again, I'm going to make sure I just, just push the cookie down a little bit, but it still has a really nice bake. So it's, it was a perfect. They're just, they're just more pillowy in exactly. life than they appear in the photo. Like me. Because <laughs> I'm in my 40s. Now that's a, now that's a hinge prompt. <laughs> just more pillowy than I appear. Find a match. There we go. All right, let's zoom oh, up. You, you really went single stuff Oreo on yours. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. I oh, did double get, stuff or let's nothing. Let's get you in the shot, bud. All right, I think we're good. All righty. Well, cookie cheers. Cheers. Chings. All right, let's see. Oh, my God. No. Mm. Delicious, but it definitely fell apart on me. Oh, my God, yours did. Oh, no. But oh my gosh, it's got such a lovely little minty flavor with the chocolate. It's a nice holiday combo. Peppermint was a good choice. Mm-hmm. Eating mine over my cup. Well, I would make these for a festive gathering. I'm gonna make these with them. I think even as I was saying, like I'm even so just the cookie without the filling, you're set. Like mm -hmm. that'd be great. You could ice yeah. you could ice these up. With like something on top in a festive design, if you wanted. Mm-hmm. And then just take the frosting, a spoon, and watch a Hallmark movie. Nah, that's what butter's for, right? That's sad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, Kelly, but I tend to go to the sad places in my stand-up. <laughs> Waking up from a dream, having read the obituary of somebody that I know, and being really happy when I wake up. <laughs> and it's kind of not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, no, I do really hate that person. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Happy holidays. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Reese. 